I often get asked what's a listed stock, what's an OTC stock, what's a pink sheet stock, what's the difference, and how do I trade them differently? Because you do need to treat them differently, and today I'm gonna to talk about that. Hey everyone, lead trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified as soon as a new video drops. Quite frequently, lately, we've been doing once a week, sometimes we do twice a week, live videos. I want you to ring that bell to be notified so that you can jump on live, ask a question, maybe see a chart live, maybe see a live trade. So be sure to ring that bell. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna focus on OTCs as well as pink sheets, but you'll hear the term listed versus over-the-counter stock. So a listed stock is a stock that trades on the NASDAQ or the NYSE. We're not gonna talk about those today because the topic is OTCs and pink sheets. So what I like to say is, remember any stock can do anything at any time, okay? Apple could go out of business today. Not likely, but it could. Now, so when we look at listed stocks on the, on the NASDAQ, on the NYSE, these are typically your more, air quotes, real companies, okay? They're uh, you know, established, they most likely have a little bit of a, of, a, of a track record, they're not bleeding enormous amounts of money, they have actual products you can buy. So when I think of listed stocks, I think of real stocks, and you can trade those, day trade those with extreme volatility, but what's different about the OTC stocks is, and the pink sheets particularly, and the gray sheets even more, these are the most speculative of the speculative, and they're gonna be the true penny stocks, okay? You'll see a lot of NASDAQ stocks, you know, for $1, sometimes a little under a dollar, two, three dollars, but in OTC and pink sheet land, this is where you get the one cent stock, the thousandth of a penny stocks, and these are the most speculative which is great from a trading perspective because now you're looking at these, these stocks as what's called purely a trading vehicle. The reason we talk about bag holders so much is people will believe the story in a listed stock. And maybe it's you know some stock that is, that is long-term downtrending. It's gone from $100 to $50 to $20 to $10. And many traders kind of fall in love with the idea behind the trade because it's, you know again, a real company. What the, what's great about the OTCs, and this may sound counterintuitive, is everybody knows most of these companies are scams. Most of them are gonna go out of business. If they stay in business, they're probably gonna pivot from a weed company to a gold company to a blockchain company. You know, They're always out there trying to raise money, trying to sell more stock. So what I love about them is it makes it very clear to you that you're only trading the chart. Okay, you don't believe in the fundamentals of any of these companies because lots of times they, they haven't announced their fundamentals for months or years. Many of them are very late to file their filings. Many of them, it's very hard to find accurate information. So now, especially if you're that purely technical trader, you're just gonna look for simple breakouts, high volume moves through key levels, breaking resistance, all these things we talk about on other videos on this channel, which reminds me, check out our library. We've got a ton of videos talking about chart patterns. A lot of the times I've got a screen right up breaking this stuff down. So now, how do I trade an OTC stock or a pink sheet stock? I'm running my scans, I'm looking for breakouts, whether that be multi-week, multi-month, or even better, multi-year. The longer the breakout, the, the longer it's taken this stock to break out, the more likely it is to continue because now it's had that time to lure in all of the buyers over days, weeks, months, etc. So now if I can find that OTC or that pink sheet stock that ideally has a story behind it, maybe it's a weed stock, maybe it's a gold stock, maybe it's a cryptocurrency stock, and it's trading unusual volume. Remember, these are all things you can scan for on stocks to trade. Unusual volume, breaking multi-month, multi-week, multi-year levels, that is a stock you're looking to trade. Then you're just looking to base your uh, stop loss based off of support and resistance levels. So it's really great as a technical trader to, to trade these because now it's just the chart. You home in on the chart, that's all you care about because you know the company's probably a scam, you know they're never gonna make any money, and you know that the only reason the stock is going up is because traders are doing exactly what you're doing. 
Remember, the stock market is an auction. The more buyers, the more eyeballs, the more traders trying to make the same move, the more potential that move is to continue. Because if everybody's looking for these breakouts and buying these breakouts, that's how you get the multi-day, multi-week continued moves. And these stocks can grind up way longer than you think, as long as there's that bid support, as long as the support holds, as long as they keep continuing to trend up. So remember, the biggest tip I want you to take away from this is feel free to trade OTC stocks, feel free to trade pink sheet stocks, but never believe the story, never believe the financials, trade them strictly from a technical standpoint. Listed stocks, NYSE and NASDAQ, you can start building that fundamental case and looking at the balance sheet, looking at the sales, looking at their contracts, looking at their business, but not in OTC and pink sheet land. So let me know below. I'm curious, do you trade strictly from a technical approach? Personally, I almost always take a little bit of both sides into my consideration when I make my trade plan, but I wanna know, do you strictly trade technicals? Because there's a lot of traders out there that do it. So thanks a lot and let me know. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.